It's, I'm hugely excited by the opportunity. It's going to be a challenge. I think every football club is, certainly in the Championship. You have to fight for every single point. Um, we'll be no different to anyone else. But in the last 12 to 18 months, there's been a lot of opportunities. And this one just felt different straight from the off. I know a little bit about the club being a London boy. So it's nice to be coming home after so long outside of the capital and I, and I just I looked at the squad last year could I see myself in the squad so there's a little bit of what I believe in in this team already and the answer to that was yes and then you know the first meeting was very informal but the discussions were um, extensive over a short period of time very very quickly we, we communicated a lot and I just felt different about this one and I have to say um, Stephen and, and Aston Villa were fantastic to me in that period as well, which, which went a long way to, to making the transition smooth to, to coming across. I don't want to uh, get caught up in the idea that we're a development team. That we're a team here to win football matches in the Championship and kick onwards and upwards towards the Premier League. That's the hopes and dreams of all the fans. That's the same, no different for us inside. Uh, to do that, we have to develop, and, and I think that uh, a lot of can get caught up in, in when you're talking about developing, thinking loads of 17-year-olds are going to come in the team. If they're good enough, they will. If not, we'll keep developing. And I, I see a 24-year-old, now I'm 41, it's a young boy. In terms of our general shape and defensive organisation, I thought it was decent. I got a lot of respect for the front players at Blackburn, and I was expecting a tougher day defensively than what we had. Uh, we were power to puff in the final third, it's fair to say. I thought we started the game the better of the two teams. Had a couple of promising moments where our, our quality let us down. Um, and as the half went on, uh, we had good possession, but we didn't do enough with it. I thought defensively all game we were pretty sound. Um, so going forward to this week, we spoke about being a bit more aggressive in our possession, more people in front of the ball. And obviously we know like in training, when you've got Tyler and you've got Chris and um, young Ilias has been away this week because he's, he's, he's had his first child, so he's not been around this week. But when you've got them type of players and Taylor, they do add something and they make other players look better. So Ilias looks a better player for him. Chris looks a better player for it. And Luke Amos just running on gives us that as well. So they're the things we're looking forward to coming back into the team. I thought it was a really nice day for QPR all in all. Obviously with young Chloe Kelly coming on the pitch before and formally opening the Stanley Bowles um, stand, which is a, a, a fantastic moment to celebrate him. It was nice that we did our part as well. It looked like we, uh, we were inspired by it for 30 or 40 minutes and then uh, we got a little bit nervous. And I think that's it with a young group, I think. I'm personally delighted. I'm delighted with them. I, I don't think people realise the, the effort it took for Chris Willock to get through 70 minutes today. I probably played him another 10 or 15 minutes and, and made everyone a bit nervous behind me. But it, it was important we had him on the pitch because he, he impacted the game. What a fantastic goal. Also, Luke Amos, he's played 45 minutes in the B team this summer. For him to go and knock that out, it just shows. And I said to him, it's always worth it when you go there together. It's always worth it. We beat a very, very good championship team today. They'll, they'll be right up there in the shakes. And as a young team, we need to take confidence from it because from January down, this young changing room has been hit from pillar to post, really. And um, we need to take confidence from just winning today. We'll analyse it, but let's not overanalyse it because I thought first half we did so many good things um, and then we got a little bit nervous. And that, that, might, be, that might just be eradicated with... Uh, with time together. Collectively we weren't good enough on the front of that and uh, I'm really really disappointed tonight because you know you, you talk about giving people opportunity and a chance to play and shine and I think one or two missed that opportunity this evening. But it's the same old story like last week. Uh, I want to be super positive today because it's a really positive point for us when you look at the people that are missing in our team. We knew it was going to be a tough trip and Sunderland are on the up. It's great to see them on the up again. Um, but I want to end on the positive, but we're dropping too deep. We spoke about it all week, we spoke about holding the line, we spoke about not dropping, and we're dropping on the two goals, we dropped far too deep. It's not, it's not a good look on us, and uh, it's similar to Middlesbrough in the second half, and we, we need to stop doing it. Just, um, I mean, obviously, you know, the latter part of the second half, the, the changes in the subs all, you know, made an impact. I mean, you spoke about Tyler on, on Saturday, but, um, but just the role of like Sinclair when he came on, and also Andre Dizel. I mean, he played that crushing ball down the down the line for Sinclair to run onto. Was that kind of pleasing for you? 
Newcastle. Yeah, it was, but he, 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 he Dos, Dos was in the team two weeks ago at, at Blackburn. He comes off, and the subs had a big impact then, and we nearly went and equalised. And like, you know, the subs had a big impact to Cholton. You know, people need to take the take the shirt when they've got it. Do you know what I mean? I think people that are in the team, I thought Albert come on and was excellent at home to Middlesbrough, for example. So it's lovely to get the impact off the bench. I would rather have the impact from the starters. I'd rather the starters make the starting team right, if that makes sense, than me having to keep changing it from the side. I thought we should have been two or three nil up before we go one nil down. And obviously we, we, we conceded at the worst possible time, right on half time. We spoke about it, uh, about if we kept playing, opportunities would come. I felt we did that. I thought we threw a lot of energy at the game second half. Um, but we, we were a bit anxious at times, a bit loose in our possession because people were, were trying so hard and, and the goal never came. I thought if we'd have scored early in the second half, then we would have been the team with the momentum. We couldn't find the goal. So tonight's really of our own doing. I thought Josh Bowler showed the one moment of real quality in the game. We couldn't find that, but we had some fantastic chances early in the game. You know, when you're coming into a club where we are, where we're at financially and 13 or 14 players leave and three or four come in and they've not been available, you know it's not going to, you know, there is no super coaches out there. I ain't got a magic wand. You, you implement your ideas. They're slowed down by key players not being available. And I think, you know, as we get them back, I'm expecting us to uh, to go on a run of results. I'd like us to get stronger as the season goes on, naturally. I thought today was a step in the right direction. But if people can't see last week against Rotherham was a good performance, then I don't know what game we're watching. Last week we were excellent. We just didn't. We weren't decisive in the box. We played as good a football as today. But today we rewarded ourselves. I think we've been training in a very good way. I can see some of the messages sinking into the team. I'm seeing it more on the pitch. Um, and I think, you know, it, it is probably par for the course, really, in terms of the time that we've been together and the time we've had on the training pitch as a team. It's probably, it was always going to take a little while and it's been slowed down by the fact that we've had some injuries. It wasn't today, for the lack of having a, a number nine, that we didn't take our chances. It was just our poor play in big moments. So we, had, we had good moments today. We did steal it off of Swansea. We did have moments where we could have executed better. We did have set plays again. And at the moment, we didn't come up with the answers today. Overall, you know, windows closed now, as you've already alluded to. Are you, are you pretty happy with the, the squad you've got? You'll always, you could always be a little bit happier, mate. I think, you know, like, just like you fans, you can always be a little bit happier. But I do think we had a strong window. I do think that the seven players we brought in have re-energised the squad with athleticism, with ability, with experience, far greater than the players I feel that went out. So what these group seven that came in, if you pick some of the players that went out and where they've gone, that probably gives you an idea of where they ultimately are now. They're all good players, but QPR, the journey that we want to go on, I think someone like Ethan Laird coming in the building is a huge coup for our club. And I think you'll see that with Taylor, you'll see it with Jake, you'll see it with Tyler Roberts, you'll see it with all the players that have come in, that they bring a renewed energy and they're more in line with our key players as well. You know, I think that they're, they support Chris Willock and, and Ilias really well. They support Sandfield well, they support Luke Amos well and Rob and Jimmy and whoever you think's a key player, Senny, this group that have come in are really aligned to them. And so every day we work together, we'll hopefully become stronger, mate. He is. He is. He's an excellent player. You know, he, he, you look at his CV at Arsenal, Neil worked with him, obviously went across to Benfica and then he's landed at QPR. So we're very, very fortunate to have him. I think he can go and play at the next level. I think he's got to make a little bit of adjustment in one or two areas in terms of the way he trains and how fit he can get. How fit can he get? Because I think he can do more in games, even like tonight. I think it's a wonderful goal. But it'd be wrong of me if I didn't keep my, keep my foot on the accelerate with him in terms of demands and standards. I'm quite fortunate that I've seen players. And I think he has as much talent as, as nearly everyone I've worked with. So I want more for him. And ideally with QPR. But if not, I want to see him go there and, and play. Because... What's that now? Five and six starts, coming into a season off a big career injury, his first big one, and finding his feet. So he's been excellent and, and long may it continue, but I think he can go again. I don't think we're seeing the full level of Chris Willock, so it's important I stay on his back a little bit. I think it takes us in the top six, which 
having been in the job three months this coming Tuesday with all the staff uh, changes, players leaving, with all the injuries and everything, I think going into the first international break where we are and being a tinge bit frustrated is a good thing because you know hopefully we come back from the international break in a strong place. We play Bristol, Sheffield United away and Reading at home within seven days or six days of coming back. <clears throat> Bring it on because they're up there and, and I think we're in a stage where we want to face every team in this league head on. I think we, we've shown we can do that if we're at our best. Yeah, you sort of answered my next question there, but like I say, I mean, a lot of what you've kind of said is you, the team's not wasn't quite where you wanted it to be yet. Obviously, there's a lot of improvement to come back with the injured players as well, but I mean, overall, like I say, when you look at it, the amount of players that came in and left in the summer, mm. you coming into your first first team job, you know, sort of getting to know your new surroundings, you must be really happy with Yeah, I'm extremely comfortable in the job. Uh, extremely comfortable in the job. It feels like a natural transition. It was something I was looking for, to do and I feel really comfortable in, like, in the work. I think what we're, the players are starting to understand is some of the ideas. Uh, we're starting to get everyone fit so you can see the relationships on the pitch. I think our two fullbacks have been fantastic. Leon Balogun coming in the last four days, having not played for since the summer. We've shown we've made good signings in, in the recruitment. We want everybody fit. Taylor will come back. Jake and Luke are back in training now, which is great. They'll be fit after the national break, so we're strong. What we know is we have to fight two for now for every point in this league, and we have done this week. We've, we've got four points the hard way. Fantastic away performance in midweek. A very good team goal and a good set play goal, and we're just Kenneth's finish away from maybe another set play goal.